Hey guys, it's me Zoe here at Chestnut Hills Farmstead. And if you remember, a few months ago, we did a review of this coop. And today I'm going to use it to revamp it and try out a project that I want to do once we get some pens finished at the farm. But I think I'm going to try it out here at home first to see how I like it. So let me explain. So for a little while now, I've been working on tearing down our old run here at our house. It used to be a big run. You can see we've got all our fencing and stuff we've taken down. And it is just time to take down this coop. We've had it for about five years and it's just time. Now that coop has really served its purpose, but we have so many chickens right now that we've got them separated amongst two different coops. And I just don't really like that. I really want to have them all in one. So if you remember, we built this one a few months ago as a review for Beaver. And it has held up very well. It has come loose a little bit right here which is nothing a few zip ties couldn't fix. But the little coop on the inside is not working anymore now that everybody is big. So what I've been wanting to do at the farm when we get our chickens moved out there is take all of our huts and houses that are built out of this framing and put them side by side and cover it around the sides and make some really big walk-in chicken coops. But I thought, let's do that at home first. Let's try this first at home with the little one we have. And instead of locking them up in that little bitty wooden one, we're gonna make this a giant walk-in coop and put some pallets around the outside and put a bigger tarp and then put some roosting bars throughout it so that they'll be able to go in at night and roost. And then we can just open the big doors right here and let them out in the morning. So that's what me and Mackenzie are gonna do today. We're gonna give it a whirl. So Nick doesn't even know it yet because he's at work, but I brought all of these pallets home with us so that we can put them around the outside of that chicken coop. They're gonna go around the outside of that but first we've got to get that over here so as you see we've got the old coop here and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up on this side which will give them some shade as well and that'll allow us time to tear down the old one and not necessarily have to use it right away and we're gonna get the other one set up over here and ready for them but I think so that I can work smarter, not harder, I'm going to hook up to the trailer that's in the back. And I, we're going to load this thing on the trailer and just drive it around here. I think that'd probably be the easiest thing. It's not that far, but it is pretty cumbersome. So let's, let's, let's do that now. I've enlisted some help so I got the boys coming and we're going to lift this thing up and get it loaded on that trailer. All 
All right, I need you to put your hand right here. Come on. Put your hand right here and don't let it fall. You walk with it while sister drives. Okay? Yeah. He's got it. Give her the thumbs up. Here we go. The easy part is done. Open this. Okay, I thought I recorded us unloading pallets, but it didn't, so there they are. <laughs> so, let me kind of show you what I was thinking. Okay, this kind of gives you an idea of what I was thinking. Have pallets to go around for some protection. It'll also help. We can go around the inside when it gets a little cooler and add some tarps to block off some wind if we need to. But it gives it some ventilation without it just being exposed. I don't really want, there's a little bit of excess right here. I don't really care about that because I might can put a water or something hanging off right there. It's not a big deal to me. This is basically just to get an idea. So yes, I didn't go buy a bunch of expensive things. I'm using panel, I mean, uh, pallets that we already have. But it's going to give it a more homey look. I'm going to go buy another tarp. I'll either buy one that's long enough for the whole thing. Or I'll just buy another one to cover that area. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go around and we're going to put a zip tie on the inside of the panel. From on the bottom and on the middle bar right here to hold them in place. And then when it's time to actually move them to the farm, we just cut it loose and we're still good to go. We don't have anything nailed together, screwed together, or anything like that. Here we are. It looks kind of like a chicken cabin to me. I think it's cute and rustic. Plenty of room for them to be locked up at night in. So I think what I'll do now is I'm gonna run to the tractor supply and get another tarp to put over here. That guinea is very loud and price some construction sand because I may put some sand in the bottom. I'm not sure about that yet. That's potential. Um, but otherwise, I think it'll be just fine. 
also we have to go back to the farm in a little bit and so what we'll probably do is look for some limbs and all that have been that are fallen and what we can do with those is we can put some limbs in there hanging from the bars and that'll allow them to have different different levels of perches in there for sleeping um, if I can't find enough limbs I'll get Nick to help me cut some wood out of some of these leftover we've got some leftover wood here from where we took down the old run and maybe we can um, you know make some perches that way about sand they did not have any of the sand but economically it's going to be cheaper to go with the pelletized bedding and the way it works it's like shavings but it's compressed into pellets and then once it gets wet it turns into like sawdust so it'll be compost compost compostable <laughs> and it'll work fine and it's a lot cheaper because it's like six dollars a bag and it won't take much to fill up that whole coop so i got two bags and the sand is i think he said five dollars for 40 pounds which it would take a lot of sand to fill up that that little area so we're gonna go with the pellets okay so here we are we're on a mission we're gonna find some sticks that we can use as perches where better to look than where the pigs have been knocking down wood. Okay, Farmer Rat, let's find some that's, look, you want them to be about this thick and kind of long. That way we can hang them. Yes, yeah, so we can hang them for the chickens okay, to I'll sleep. Find one. I'll find one. That's not, I don't think that's going to be thick enough. It, you said this box. I need it big. Because if the chickens lay on this, it's going to start bending. And then do it. Ah! Right, and then they'll break it. So let's find some more. What about one? That one would probably be good. We can get Daddy to cut it. What do you think? No. Yeah, I think that'd be a good no. one. No. Look, we can break it right here. Right here? We can break it right here. And that would be a good one. What about that one? Is that a good one? Sure. Yeah, you think so? No, nope, it's cut. That's okay. Let me see. Oh, that'd be good. They can. That'd be good for them. So it won't break easily. Right. That's okay, so we got how many? Two. Yeah. All right. Let's find us another one. I need to help you. Yeah, I am helping you. I need to help you. Oh, yeah, I don't need to get hit in the head. Y'all need me too much. What would you do if you didn't have mommy? Pray you. you would pray for me? Well, last thing we got to pick up here at the farm, we had some kitty litter buckets. And I've been holding on to them because I wasn't sure what to do with them. But I'm going to use them for nesting boxes. We're going to cut this flap out. And they'll sit in the in the new pen during the day, and we'll take them out at night as nesting boxes. All right, let's get this tarp. Get the tarp put on. Let's get it on there first before we. Okay, so it's looking good. I did leave a part with some screen showing because we're getting into winter time and I do want them to have some access to some sunlight in there. 
um, so that if they want to get in there, they can just bathe in some sun. Or if we do decide that we don't want to let them out for one reason or another, they're still getting access to sun. So the way that I did that is intentional. They're already in here checking things out. Look. Hey, Cheek Cheeks. In there. Yeah, they finally got in there. And they love it. They do. So, what is the next thing we got to do? Put the branches. You're going to help? That's my love. I wanted to do that. Okay, well, let's get that done. Let's cut some rope. Okay, so they've got some different perches. The only thing left to do is put something on the ground. So with this pelletized bedding, it is sawdust that is compressed into little bitty pellets. And what happens is it's used mostly for like horse stalls. You put the pellets down, um, they get wet and they expand and it clumps together kind of like cat litter. But what we've learned to do is we go ahead and mist it down just a little bit, let them go ahead and expand, and it covers in the sawdust material. So then when a chicken poops, it falls and it clumps like kitty litter, and then it's easy to clean out. And so that's what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna cover the ground with these pellets, and then we're gonna spray it down with a little bit of water, let them expand, and then we'll fluff it to kind of mix it up a little bit. So I did want to show you guys, I got these kitty litter boxes from my mom. And what I'm planning to do is to put some shavings in those. And we'll put them inside of this pen, just right here along the side. So we'll put those inside the pen every day during the day. I don't want to leave them in there because at night, the chickens will get in them and sleep in them and then poop in them. And chickens don't like to lay eggs where they poop. So we'll take those out. That's why they're sitting here. They'll take, we'll take those out every evening and then we'll put them back in when we get the chickens up every morning. So right now I'm gonna see if we can catch some and get them moved over. Also, if you don't know, moving chickens at night and then pinning them up is going to encourage them to go to their new home. If we just put this here and never moved the chickens and made them actually use it, they would not know that this is actually their home. So we're going to move the chickens at night when we can catch them and get them put in here. And that will help to encourage them to start using this as their home. Well, here we are. Everybody, look, we've already got them swinging. It's hard to see, guys. I know it's getting dark. They are swinging away. Everybody's huddling in for for nighttime. Okay, night, night, chickens. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, night is here but we finished this coop. I'm very excited that this turned out to be pretty good. I reused most everything that I used, but this is kind of how I wanna set up Chicken City when we move them to the farm. When we get that fencing up and all, and I've got chickens and my ducks and everything, I wanna set up pens like this around because I can easily move these if I need to. All that's holding this together is some zip ties, of course, but I'm excited. This worked out. It looks much better than just having a wire kennel out. So I say thumbs up. If you say thumbs up, leave me one. Let me know what you think, what you would have done differently because I'm always willing to learn. Love you guys. Bye.